Hello my friends, we are back in Luminar Neo and this is a complete guide to layers. I am going to show you everything you can do with layers in Luminar Neo. I will start with this image and when you go to edit, you will find your layers into the left top corner. This is your background layer. You can simply uh, duplicate it by the, using the shortcut D and now you have a duplicated background layer or you can add another layer by clicking on this plus sign and then you can choose a layer from my images or any of these other albums or you can just load a new image. Then on your layers on the right side you have your layer properties. This is where you have your opacity slider and you have your most powerful tool on layers which is blending modes. If you do not understand blending modes I have a complete tutorial with lots of examples and explaining each one of those blending modes. Then you have this uh, flipping, you can flip it horizontally or vertical, your layers. And then image mapping, this is how you would fit the screen, fill the screen or stretch the screen with your image if it's not completely covering your screen. Now let's see what, what is the power of layers, what can we do with it? For this image, I will add, because it's a snowy image, I want to add snow, like it's snowing. So I will just choose an overlay of snow. And as you can see, this is just snow photographed uh, in a dark background. And if I change the blending mode to screen, there you go. Now we have a snowy scene. What else can we do with layers? I am going to take this example and we have a coffee mug over here. And I think it would be so cool if the coffee had coffee beans painted on it. How will I do that? Well, into my edits, I will go to my layers and I will choose coffee bean overlay. I'll put it over my coffee, opacity at 100% and I'll change the blending mode to screen. With blending mode to screen, I can use masking. You see on the right side of properties, you have masking and we have so many uh, masking options over here. I will show them to you in a second. With the brush tool, I can just paint on my coffee cup to reveal the coffee bean as an overlay. You should take the time and mask this very precisely. I will just do a quick rough job and let's see. I have it like that and you see I went to the paint brush. If I want to go to erase brush, a shortcut for that it's X. So now I am erasing and I can erase the parts that I went over it. And just like that we are adding an overlay. If I click X again, I'm back into the paint and now I can paint the handle of this coffee mug and I can erase the parts that I went over it just like that. Now we have a coffee overlay. We can reduce the opacity about 80% that will make it a little bit more believable. And there you go. We added an overlay to our coffee mug. This is the before, this is the after. Great. What else we can do with layers? Well, I have another coffee, coffee cup somewhere in here. I have this one. And I think it's a cool image, but I want to add some steam. How will I do that? Back to edits and to layers. I will add a steam overlay this time. There's my steam overlay. Double click on it. Increase the opacity at 100%. Blending mode screen. And now we can place our steam where we want it. And we can mask the parts with a brush with erase where we do not want to steam to show up. And just like that before and after we have steam in our coffee. By the way, this steam overlay, I did give it to you for free. You can find it into how to add steam video. What else can we do with layer? Um, we can add contrast. I have this image over here. We can go to edit and to the layers, just click D to duplicate the layer. And now all we have to do is just go to the blending mode and change it to soft light. And just like that, this is the before, this is the after, we added a lot of contrast. If it's too much, you can always reduce the opacity. What else? This is another example that is good for adding contrast. Go to edit, D for duplicate the layer, and just change the blending mode to soft light. And there you go, lots of contrast. This is the before, this is the after. With layers, we can also remove the background. Let's take this example. Into the edits, I will go to layer properties and into masking, I can just use portrait background. 
Now I will remove the background by clicking on this remove button and Luminar Neo will analyze the image and remove the background onto my image, which it did. You do not see it because I duplicated the layer. So we have this layer underneath. If I hide this one, you will see we are missing the background. And now I can bring in a new layer with a new background. Let's see something that will go well with this image. Like this one, for example, I will stretch it to fill the screen. I will increase the opacity at 100% and I'll move it under our portrait. And now we successfully replace the background. What else can we do? We can do a color overlay. I like this image over here, but what if I want to make it a little bit more warmer tones? Well, I can go to edit and I can add a warm tone overlay. I will choose something orange like this. By the way, all these color overlays, I did give it to you. I'll put the link in the description below. So right here, I have to stretch it to fit the image. And then I will just change the blending mode to soft light. And just like that, this is the before, this is the after. Before and after, we just warmed out the image and make it look a little bit more pleasing. What else can we do with layers? We can, let's use this image. We can add a cloud. How do we do that? Well, I will go to edit, go back to layers, and this time I will import a sky with one cloud. And this is my image. I will move it to where I want the cloud. We'll just make it over here. I think it will be kind of funny. It will be over her head. And in order to get rid of that blue sky and just leave the cloud here, all I have to do is change the blending mode to lighten. And there you go. I can, now I just have a cloud over her head. So I'll go back to properties. And there you go. This is our image before and after, before and after. How cool is that? And of course we can go into this uh, layer properties and we can resize the cloud if we want a cloud to be smaller. We can also turn it around. We can put lots of different clouds, different sizes, and you know, reshape them to fill the sky. Great. What else can we do with layers? We can, let's see, this image over here, it's a great image, it's a little bit washed out. How can we fix it? Simple, we just layers, I will go to layers. Oops, I'm sorry. I will just duplicate the layer by clicking D and just by changing the blending mode to multiply, this will just bring this image to life. If it's too much, you can reduce the opacity a little bit. And this is our image before and after, before and after, just a quick really edit, a uh, quick edit, we're just using layers. What else can we do? We can we can turn images into a high key image. I know that Luminar Neo has a high key tool, but you can also do this with just layers. I will show you exactly how you would do this. With this image selected, I will just duplicate it by clicking on D. And now with this uh, copy of the background, I will go into, I will go into black and white and I'll convert it to black and white. Great. Now we have to go to layer property and change the blending mode to screen. And this will give you that porcelain look that high key images have. If you feel you're missing contrast now, you can just duplicate this black and white image by clicking on it and typing in D and now we duplicate it and changing this one to soft light, it will just give us more contrast. So this is our before and after, before and after, and that's how you would make high key images using layers. I will use one more example, and that is this image of household items. And if we go to edit and duplicate our layer by clicking D and changing the blending mode to maybe multiply, there you go. We are bringing so much more detail into the image and it just makes our image better. Oh, I will show you one more thing. I remember one more thing I can show you what we can do with layers. Let's choose this image. This image, let's say we want to add uh, more contrast using a curve tool. And I click on my background, I click D to duplicate it. And then if I go into develop and add a pretty strong S curve to create more contrast, you see what is happening? 
we are getting a lot more saturation too, which in this image works, but in some images might not work. And if you do not want to add saturation, you only want to add the luminance contrast, what you would do, you go into layer property and change the blending mode to luminosity. And now we are just adding contrast and no color. I will show you, this is a better example if I show you maybe on skin tones. Let's see, I will use this one. I will revert it to the original so you can see it better. And let's do the same thing, D to duplicate it. And now if I go and develop and add a curve to add more contrast, you see how everything becomes so saturated. This is the before and after. But if we do not want to add any of that saturation, then into the layer properties, if you change the blending mode to luminosity, then the color won't be applied. It's just the contrast. So this is the before, this is the after, before and after. And that is pretty much all you can do with layers and Luminar Neo as of right now. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.